Well, it's Tuesday morning, and today we are reading Luke 6, 21, or 20 through 26. Jesus lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you shall be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. So here we get sort of Luke's version of the Sermon on the Mount, if you will. It's on the plain. It's called the Sermon on the Plain, uh, not the Sermon on the Mount, but it's the same memories, the same text, the same things that Jesus is remembered to have said. Only Luke's version is quite different from Matthew's. Did you notice? Blessed are the poor in spirit, Matthew says, and Luke just says, blessed are you if you're poor. Hmm, difference there, significant difference. Matthew tends to spiritualize and soften these things, I think. Um, and Luke has the woes that go with it. Blessed are the poor, woe to you who are rich. Blessed are the hungry, woe to you who are not hungry. So you see the, the, the parallels there. Um, you know, it's been reported fairly widely in the, in, in the press that, um, and certainly in the pastor's blogs, people... Um, we'll hear a pastor read something like this and take them on and say, where'd you get all those liberal talking points? And the pastor says, uh, I was quoting Jesus. And they'll say, well, that doesn't work anymore. We can't have that anymore. Something, somebody, some group is so slow trying to ch change the church's message. Um, we can't have the message changed because a political group thinks it's weak or that it's um, it doesn't it doesn't work these days anymore. Uh, that is exactly what the um, the Barman Declaration of 1934 uh, was written in Germany to protest Hitler's changes to the church's work and worship. And um, and it says we can't have other other things and people and sources uh, changing what what the church teaches. We can't have that. And um, so sometimes you'll you'll read about that and just think, you know, I mean, it's it's enough when one gospel says blessed are the poor in spirit, and the other gospel says blessed are the poor. So what did Jesus really say? Well, he could have said both. He could have said this. You know, you, you pick and choose. But he said something about that, and um, to say, well, that's a liberal talking point and doesn't work anymore, that's just, um, well, it's wrong. You shouldn't do that. So if that's been you, you know, think again. And, um, but what Jesus is doing here is getting at, uh, getting to the, the economic situation in ancient Palestine, which was that most people were desperately poor, frankly. And the taxes were very high, up to like 60, 70% of your income. So you don't have much income to begin with, and then you have to give most of it to someone else. Um, it leaves you pretty poor, and it makes it difficult for you to eat. And most people uh, in ancient Palestine worked all day, got paid in the evening, took their wages to the market and bought food, went home and cooked it and ate it, and the next day they started again. Um, there was no 
building up a reserve or savings account or sort of generational wealth or any of that for the, for the majority of people it was working all day so that we can eat tonight and that that was poverty and that's still the way poverty kind of works in in, in our time um, it's a little different now but but basically that's the the uh, the gist of it and so um, it was very hard to survive and the people that had money that did have some wealth in reserve and didn't have to work all day, um, they tended to be in situations where they could easily get more money. And so, you know, you got that going on. So think about today what it means to be poor, what it means to be poor in spirit, um, what it means, you know, are we really poor or are we not poor. Well, it kind of depends on how we look at ourselves. But take a look and um, honestly and, and see how you, what you think and, and ask Jesus what he would have you to do um, with your relative poverty. Um, that's a big deal for today, so we'll leave it there. But have a good day. And we'll see you tomorrow.